Hey everybody, this is Shane Arman Rowe, and today we're going to be looking at The Medium, brand new game from Bloober Studios, released today. And this is my very first, this will be my very first playthrough, so we're going to do it together. Um, we'll see, uh, see how it looks. This is a sort of an adventure horror type game, sounds like it's right up my alley. And the only thing I've done is boot up and, and do some settings. So there's a handful of things. We'll obviously want to invert Y. And I'll just run through a couple of these options real quick so you can see what is available. HDR is available. Very nice. Perfect. Well, let's get started, shall we? My son's playing Gorn in the background on the quest if you hear the occasional swiping of swords. Sort of reminds me of that moth from Silence of the Lambs, doesn't it? Yeah. Aren't you about a size 14? Sorry, I'll try to keep the references to a minimum for those of you who are looking for a good opinion here. Reset myself. Some long load time here. All right, here we go. It all starts with a dead girl. Into the road, honey. <laughs> Might have tried to swim for it, huh? Wouldn't have a story then, would we? Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The graphics look very nice Moon so far. Scented pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. All right, there's our setup. That day when the phone rang. Well, part of our setup anyway. It was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together.
All right, so maybe that's all of our setup, huh? I was almost ready. So were we. I just had to find his special tie clip. That's going to be our first task, is to find a tie clip? Could be fun. All right. Okay, so fixed camera. We cannot uh, pan around the room. Okay. Neurologist, funeral, funeral, by funerals. Okay, so we kind of zoomed in a little, and we can back out. A lot of control on our end here. Definitely keeping us fixed. Hopefully this opens up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Nice to see you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, I kind of dig the way they're doing the camera work here. Jack's kitty, kitty, room. kitty. It's like he never. Damn it. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Dialogue is skippable. So we have some limited look capacity. More looking capacity. I Don't worry, I saw it. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Yeah, I bet. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Kitty, kitty, kitty. No, we can't have multiple things in the scene. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Ah, Witcher senses. There you are. All right, so I've got a funeral home key. Ooh, combined, huh? Okay. So I got the tie clip. Something up here to look at, too. Jack was part of the Solidarity. He spent a few months. Nope, come. So you can uh, skip one line of dialogue at a time. Perfect. For when it gets a little wordy. See if insight gives us anything from the broader picture. Can we use insight here? Yes, we can. You can use insight when you're not zoomed into something. This is good. All right, I'm going to wander around a little bit because that's just the nature of things. Nothing over there. No insight. Huh. Ah. Feed the kitty. Looks nourishing. Okay. <sighs> Feed the cat. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. Famished feline achievement. Yes. What's the date on that? 1999. Okay. I thought our time frame looked a little off here. Can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. 
Hmm. How to develop photos. Alright, so I get to develop photos later. That's fun. Hmm. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Alright, let's do it. No, not the clip. Hmm. Illuminate photo for three seconds. Read the instructions. Three. Okay. Ah, that's too quick. It needs longer exposure. Oh, I missed my window. Oh, come now on. Now it's overexposed. Whatever. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three. Ah, that's too quick. It needs longer. What did it say? Did it not say three? Oh, five seconds. I saw three under there. I guess. All right. Well. Ah, that's too quick. It one, needs longer exposure. Two, three, four, five. Now it's overexposed, right? <sighs> Missed my window. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now Here it's we go. overexposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five. All right, now we're talking. All right, dip in, dip in, blah blah blah. Well, I'm hoping that we're in the right area here. Oh, wrong fluid. I need to apply it in the right order. So that's obviously not it. Multigrade stop and fixer. Can, can we actually see what that says? I'm trying to see. Well, we know that's not multigrade. Yeah, this is this is already a ton of fun. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five. We'll start from the other side this time. And this one was for three seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. All right. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. We're getting there. 1001, 1002, 1003. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shoot. All right. Are we going to run through that again? Probably not. All right. Well, we get the idea. I wonder if I developed if I could develop other pictures. Probably not though. Probably not time to get out of dodge, huh? Let's see. Oh, I haven't been down here yet. Interesting. Can I take it? Nope. That's it? There's really nothing else in here? No, okay. Why is this door closed? Wasn't the store open? We lived a upstairs no. from Jack's funeral home. Ah. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Uh -huh. Oops, hang on. Can I go in here? Nope. Nothing over here, huh? All right. It bothers me I can't move the camera around. But say love you, right? In there. I do kind of dig on these camera angles. Though. I like the way they're doing that. Nothing here, right? Use my superpowers. Nope. 
All right, down we go to the spooky funeral home. And playing six feet under. Like Laura Ambrose. Nothing? All right. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. This is I can run, can I? Not looking like it. Maybe later. What do we got here? That's sad. I know, I'm a curious guy. Yeah. Who doesn't? I've not seen anything else down here. All right. Make us do it all, aren't you? Jack's in the prep room. So we're, I'm assuming it's over there, but let's look around, shall we? Using my secret powers. Interesting. I wonder why they sent me there. Funky. Here it is. Ah, well, I needed to come here anyway, huh? Aren't I clever? Krakow. Running would be great. That's creepy. Eh, we won't go down there just yet. I guess uh, we're going down there now. Take me to see Jabba now. You down here? Nope. <sighs> Not sure if I'm ready for this. Yeah, I can almost smell it. Yeah, we'll wait a second before we pop that guy open, huh? Doesn't look like there's anything else interesting in here. All right, Jackie boy. Hey, Jack. Yeah, a little gamey in there, huh? Let's air this out a bit. special clip well no where's your tie well, if you have a feeling I'm gonna be tie searching now all 
Man, I didn't see any place else to go. I hope I don't have to go back up to the house. That'd be a drag. Could have sworn I brought it down already. Right. So what's the deal? We use our special skills. Our special skills reveal nothing. All right. It's not being able to run is making me mental. Let's go back and look in the office. Oh, wait a minute. Is this open again yet? No. All right. Seeing nothing in here. Does that mean I have to go all the way back up to the house? Ugh. That just can't be, right? I can't believe I'm having to go back and forth on a fetch quest here. Am I stuck on the geometry or what? I guess I didn't use my secret skills in here, did I? My powers. Well, if you guys sent me back up here for nothing, I'm going to be uptight. Wash day tomorrow. Well, so now I can't go back up there? Okay. Well, then. Hmm. All right. Maybe doubling back this way. This is uh this is gonna be a long game I think. Okay, well let's go back down there. No, I, I was expecting something a little different than this. Um, I'm hoping this picks up a little. Oh, wait, what was that? Hmm. Is this a way over here? Let's go down and see dear old foster dad again. Take another look around here, I suppose.
Fuck, like I'm missing something big here. Oh, well, damn it. Somebody probably saw this while I was on the video. Great. Alright. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. Did you guys see the tie? Because I didn't see the tie. And I know I'm going to get comments. Dude, you walked by it twice. Don't worry, I'll put a chapter jump in there so you don't have to watch me flail around. Or hopefully you didn't have to watch me flail around. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm missing the tender moment here. Close the box. Oh, can't you people read? The signs that's closed. <gasps> Scary. Oh, well, that's not good. You guys see that? That was not good at all. It's starting to get, of course. Door closed by itself. What the hell? Paranormal caught on camera. I guess you felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late! Marianne? Marianne, are you, are you crying, my child? Yeah, well, look at you. I'd be crying too. I. It's fine, Jack. Now, now you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memories of it fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Eh? Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? Look at my hair. Oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Jack, where is that shh, 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 shh. notebook? It's okay, Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. What would I ever do without you? <laughs> so you wouldn't have had that tie. Don't worry about it. It's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, Dude, look in the mirror, man. Sure, you're gonna be all right. <laughs> yes, Jack. It's gonna be fine. Uh, oh, 
you know, I, I promised myself once I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Oh. <laughs> no risky stuff, then. Huh? Right? All right, Jack. I need no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. Yeah, now we're talking. But, no. I was the only one. Well, you and everybody in or a Stephen so King thought. book. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? You came out on Twitter last week. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shouldn't have posted that ad on Shit. Craigslist. That's all I'm saying. Ah, we get to the credits. I think we got a minute. I have nightmares that look a lot like this. seen that guy in those nightmares too. Ooh, electroshock therapy? Is that Dr. Vonnegut? Yeah, I bet none of you got that reference, huh?
when does Patricia Arquette get here? All right. We've had our fun intro. We've got the credits. And I got an achievement. Is she riding a Vespa? And off I went. On nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. Yes. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. No kidding, look at it. All right. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. Well, just climb on over, honey. Right there, climb up. Anyone home? I guess not. Just us pigeons. Yeah, it looks amazing. Day room for the kids and art lessons. What the? Hello? Thomas? No special powers in here, I see. Okay. Let's sneak around the back way. Ooh, what's in the trash? Oh. You want to keep me out, Neva? Don't put the trash can so near the wall then, huh? We're going to have to do better than that. Yeah, we'll send a tiger next time. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Ah, oh, finally. Until one day it just stopped. How long did it take us? How long have we been so, at this? Urban legend like 40 born. minutes? Couldn't the have been 40 Neva minutes, has it? The I guess I should be paying attention to the story. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know. Sounds a lot like House on Haunted Hill. <sighs> Starting to open up here a little bit. That's good. Can I go this way? Nice. Huh. What's this old thing here? Yeah, nothing good can come of this. Nothing good at all. Oh, what a mess. People can be such bastards sometimes. No wonder history keeps biting us in the ass. That's right.
That's it, huh? Nah, I was expecting something a little more, but... This thing can't have everything. Can I go this way? No. Okay. Not over here. Nada. Come on, honey, shake it a little faster. We got lots of ground to cover here. Ooh, this looks like fun. Oh, thought that might have been a portal down into a secret room where we entered a six-digit code. Not creepy or anything, huh? Prints. I know it's footprints. Roach, I can see feet prints. Maybe they lead to a drowner. I get paid to kill monsters. What, did you stand? Guess so. Something tells me we're on the right track, though. Call it a hunch. I see. Can I do both? Got here. What's this? should be paying attention to? Nope. Huh. Looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. Might be. Interesting down there. Hmm. All right, cool. Let's go on in. Something happened here. Got to reload the next scene, huh? The split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. in this place.
Yeah, not getting through here. Not with the power out. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? Alright, so I got some juice, huh? That's what I was looking for, right? I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. I guess I just needed the juice and that was it. Okay, split time is over. So there I was. Existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. Yeah, I have a lot of friends like that. Hmm. See, I picked correctly, huh? Yeah, you know, we've probably seen almost enough of this game for you guys to get a good idea as to if it's your cup of tea or not. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Well, this is probably as good a time to stop as any, huh? So, uh, what do you guys think? Your kind of game? I tend to dig these sort of narrative games. So it might be a little on the slow side for me, though. So it looks like we have auto-saving checkpoints. And that's about it. All right, well, listen, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the medium. Please, as always, like this video, subscribe, and check that little bell off so you get notifications of all of our future videos. I'm Shane Armand Rowe, and as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.